On the top floor of a library in Manhattan, there's a secret apartment, and it's been left empty for years. I'm Sarah Laskow. I'm a senior writer at Atlas Obscura, and this is the secret apartment at the Fort Washington Library in Manhattan. Back at the beginning of the 20th century, Andrew Carnegie gave the city $5.2 million to build libraries all over the city. They all look a little bit like this one with these big sweeping windows that are supposed to keep the buildings light and cool. Downstairs, it looks like pretty much any library. Upstairs though, it's a completely different place. Someone who works for the library once told me it feels to them like being in a haunted house even. Walking up the stairs, you can sort of feel that. There's this water stain coming down one of the walls and the stairs are pretty, but they're dirty. And there's this like white plaster falling from the ceiling. The first thing you see when you get up there is this big room and it would have been used as a public space, maybe for like lectures or meetings or dances. But the really cool surprising thing here is the apartment. It's pretty much a dream to live in a library, right? I mean, at least for me. The first time I came here, it was creepy. The light switches weren't working, so it was really dark, and we had to watch where we stepped because they told me the floors weren't really safe. Um, but one of the first things I noticed was how bright the walls are. I mean, whoever lived here wanted to make it feel welcoming and fun. It's a pretty big, sweet apartment. I mean, I think most people that I know in New York would be really happy to live here. You can just feel what it would have been like. In one of the rooms, there's a mirror, and I can imagine standing there and, and just checking what I look like before going out. I did get to meet someone once who lived in an apartment like this. The buildings were heated by coal back then, and the custodians had to keep feeding the furnaces all day and all night. And since they had to be available all the time, it just made sense for them to live in the library. So these apartments were built for them and for their families too. Now there are just 13 of these left. I mean, this is an enormous amount of space to go unused right in the middle of New York City. And when the building stopped using coal and the custodians retired, the library would just shut up the apartments. But now they're trying to repurpose all this room by converting the apartments to public spaces. If everything goes according to plan, the library will repurpose this apartment too. And you know, everyone I tell that to is disappointed because it really would be awesome to live here. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna know about more amazing places like this one, subscribe to our channel or just click to watch more videos. In the comments, we would love it if you would tell us about your dream apartment and where it might be located.